Good morning. I am eating breakfast in a Gatwick Airport place that looks like sort of an IKEA playroom for adults. Uh, yeah. So I'm going away to Stockholm for a trip about the one. So I thought I'd like put together like a little bit of a vlog about what it's like to go on a press trip. Because I know you guys like read a lot of stuff online about, you know, oh it's all really glamorous and uh, okay, it's really not. Um, there aren't these weird suitcases full of money that get handed around. Occasionally there's an oversized male t-shirt that goes in my bed pool and then gets given away to friends. I thought I'd show you a little bit of what it's like to go on these trips because I mean, you know, I'm only, it's not, it's quite fun. I mean, it's video games, right? My dolly. Well, we've landed in Sweden. It's beautiful here. Gorgeous. I haven't even been outside yet. I'm just in the airport and that's exciting enough. I need to get out more. It's like a really fancy IKEA. Some selfies. Yay team! And this is my glamorous, glamorous room. Hi. This is a lovely view out of the window. Oh, hello, Sweden. You're quite roady. Glamorous. Okay. So yes, uh, so this is a beautiful room. No expense spared, BBC. Mm. Uh, I knew it! I knew there had to be some IKEA furniture somewhere. Everyone in the entire world has a lack table. <laughs> the best thing though. <laughs> you get You get mawams on your pillow. Oh and also a hair of somebody else. Mmm, <laughs> mawams and I don't need really free hair, I'm good for hair. If I'm honest. Um it's quite long, so it's not so bad. Mmm, yeah. Um, free mawams though. Mawam. And because there's no one here with me, that means I get two. Two mawam. Mawam. Two mawam. Two mawam. Two mawam. Two mawam. Two mawam. Okay, I need to stop doing that. I'm getting quite dizzy. Um, so hello, hi darlings, hello darlings, hello darling. I don't know why I'm saying that. Um, hello, we are in Sweden. I am in, like a premier in, basically. And we're gonna go shoot some GVs, which basically just means lots of images and stuff that they put into the docks. And just sort of mooch back today, and tomorrow is the big day with lots of battlefield questions. So it's kind of nice, you get to like hang out a little bit. So I just realized I have red my nose was because it's like winter. Um, I've been blowing my nose a lot and then it makes your nose really, really red. And I had like a big red nose. So I thought I'd fix it. Um, so, uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say, yeah, so one of the things about traveling all the time for work is it's great and everyone's like, wicked, wicked, um, you know, travel for work. We're basically here for like a couple of days and you end up like seeing, it reminds me, I went to Finland for, like a day or something to shoot something for this like for music thing about quantum break and um it was really cool but like you're there for a day and you're sort of like oh stuff okay all right um so it's kind of like although excuse me saying that you kind of get the idea of places you'd like to go back to and i quite like kind of the nordic countries i tell you why because i love it when it's cold but it's bright so I like wearing lots of like layers of coats and stuff like that. And, but it being really sunny at the same time. I think that's why I like kind of like snowboarding as well because it's always really bright and sunny but cold and not wet. 
I'm not living in the right place. England is terrible. So, yeah, it's kind of a chill day today, which is nice. Got a little bit of chill out time. Just gonna set up all the camera equipment. Well, I'm not going to. The BBC guys are gonna. And yeah, I'm just gonna chill out for a bit. Um, I have to say, if you haven't read this, which is in post-production, uh, Ready Player One, loving it, amazing. I didn't realize it was already in post-production. It comes out in 2018, except, and I was like, 2018, that's ages. Like, why is it, have they finished filming? They must have finished filming. And then I thought about it, and because it's basically about a virtual reality world, I was like, the entire thing is gonna be CG, right? So clearly they're gonna need like two years of post-production because nothing's gonna be real. Um, I'm gonna eat some malware now. I am dubious that this isn't gonna turn into a mine con, basically like a food vlog. But well, I have this for a Probably have a fruit. There we are. Mmm. It's really fruity. Mmm. It's really chewy. Now I can't really talk to you because it's making lots of saliva in my mouth. It sounds a little bit dribbly. Right, we're here at Dice to check out some Battlefield 1. Um, so just waiting to get taken around. We've got this beautiful little terrace out here. Hopefully we can go out there, it's kind of cool. Um, we're in their trophy room. They have a trophy room. Did you know this? I didn't know this. Look at these trophies. We have so many trophies because we are the best. Look at them. Look at them. There's this one, which is really weird. And there's... I don't know what that is. It's like a piece. Ah, oh, golden joysticks, of course. Golden joysticks, golden joysticks. That one melted. The European Games Awards has a melty thing. That one's Oliver twisting all over the place. That one's just, oh uh, wow, voguing. Vogue, Vogue face, face. Danish Game Awards. Then the Star Trek Awards for best Star Treks. And then this is just someone's like woodwork competition. Look at that. I made it in shop. I made it myself, mother. Why did you like it? It's quite cool. It's wham fun. bam, we're going ham. Fastest, most enjoyable game experience. Um, okay. Best of E3, they have. IGN have shields? Since when? Do, what? Do they hand out weaponry as well? What? Okay. Celebrities. Yeah. Back to back celebrities. So we're just going to get her coming through the door? Yeah. Unless she wants to be. I'm standing really close to Darth Vader's crotch. Look. Shh. Battlefield keyboards, Battlefield, Battlefield, Battlefield Astros, Battlefield, Battlefield, Battlefield. Ah, oh, till death do us part, which in a multiplayer game of Battlefield is not very long. Some games, oh. Oh, that did so, so well. Everyone loved it. <laughs> <coughs> now, nothing is more exciting than finding a coffee machine that you can just use when you travel. So the lovely selection, we approve. Can you see that? Look, Darth Vader's judging my coffee choices in the background. I'm going to the dark side, I'm not having milk. And there are people actually doing work, which is Dave and Lydia, whilst I mess around with the coffee machine. Um, they do have a really good selection of teas, which is important. It's like, what have we got? Ooh, Echinacea. Lids, you need an Akinacia tea for your illnesses. Oh, oh, English breakfast. I feel like if I was to like gamble, it would be with tea bags like this. It'd be like, I raise you a Darjeeling to your Earl Grey. So ignore all our stuff on the table, but look how cool this lighting is. Yeah, it's like some sort of like East London workout space. Come in and we shall work you out. I don't know why I said it in a weird German accent because East London's not really like that.
Oh my god, it's awesome. Oh, it's like a really sweet sexy, sexy club. Look. It's amazing they get any work done. Look how awesome it looks. What's that? Shuffleboard? What? I'm coming, I'm coming. There's bridges full of food. What? Look at all the microwaves. This is what the people need to know. How many microwaves are there? How do they get any work done? What? Super sprint? Oh my god, I actually remember that sadly. Quite a decent one on the shot. Defender. Oh my god, it's like a GTA apartment. Raw! Okay, we have to 100% do stuff up there. Wow. Oh, hang on, wait a minute. Massage chair. Spying telescope. What do they do up here? A book about Hillary Clinton. Good morning. We are here in Sweden and we are off to go and see Dice to interview everyone for Battlefield 1 for our piece for the BBC. I oh, love it here. Look how bright it is. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be finding out more about uh, Battlefield, uh, everything to do with it, uh, especially sort of from the World War One angle, which is what we're kind of you know aiming this BBC doc to be about, because it's quite interesting that they've kind of gone backwards in time, and you know I, I always find it really interesting like the balance between like they try and get things really realistic in some regards, but actually completely not in others. So it should be interesting. I think we got to go. I think the Uber's here. The Uber's here. It's basically, it's like, it feels like Christmas out here, like it's really chilly, but beautiful and sunny. Everyone thinks I'm weird. They don't have vloggers here. Looking at me funny. BBC team negotiating their Mahusu bag, which is as big as Lydia. You fit me in it. <laughs> See, these are all my GVs. Hey. Uh, so we're here at Dice, we're just getting coffee, and then we're gonna get into the Battlefield presentation. And then we're gonna do like a bunch of interviews, which is gonna be good, hopefully. We're gonna nerd out. I wanna learn some stuff about World War One, which hopefully I will do. Although I'll probably just forget it next year, like everything I learned at school. Really glad I did history. There's basically two women in here. That oh, one's so fluffy. Just interviewed um, a single player. But it's really fascinating actually learning all this stuff about World War One and like all of the source material and stuff. It's really cool. Terrifying doors. Beep. No one gets in or gets out. Unless they have a pass. But the sexy audio club. So welcome to the wonderful world of filming for the BBC. Here we are uh, on this amazing balcony, although it smells a bit of egg up here for some reason, not quite sure why. Uh, just interviewed Lars, so Mr. Battlefield, about Battlefield. Um, it's kind of, you know what, it's actually been really, really amazing how completely passionate everyone has been about this. And I say it time and time again, but there's nothing more exciting than listening to people nerd out and you can really feel how these guys are just so pleased with what they've done and like they've put in so much time so much energy and you know they really really can't wait for everyone to get their hands on the game you know it's not often you get that when you do like a game interview where you really feel buzzed after chatting to everybody and certainly 100% we've got that Dave is because Dave's a total fanboy aren't you Dave? Yeah, I've done like a thousand hours in battle with these. A things. thousand hours? A thousand hours, yeah. Did you just get a picture with Lars? I did just you get a did. picture. You did? Does that not make you day day? It does make you me quite happy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure who I'm going to show it to. No one will care, Dave. That's the thing. <laughs> Apart from you. And that's I'm just going to put it on my uh, screen at work. That's and everyone will be like, <laughs> who's that? <laughs> okay. You know the boys will rip you, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. L Lydia's just wearing all the clothes. It's Dave's jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Dice, Dice has it now. Lydia, you're falling apart! 
You've been here five minutes and you've already lost everything. <laughs> like the Easter Bunny, I just leave a trail of possessions in my way. <laughs> but it's been good. Have you guys enjoyed this? Well, you have. I'm not talking to you. He has. Have you enjoyed it, Lids? Even though you're a little bit under the weather? Yeah, I'm good. I mean, I'm, I'm feeling like it's time for a lem sip now, but after that, I'll be sweet. You're so rock and roll. <laughs> Maybe it's just the jacket. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> okay, so um, we finished. <laughs> We finished filming and there was this really cool patisserie place and as is, it turns out with all of the vlogs that I'm doing, <laughs> I just freaked Lydia out. She's like, why is she talking to herself? Um, as all of my vlogs have basically turned into food vlogs because I just keep eating food on camera so I thought I'd continue with that tradition. So this is a Sarah Byrne part who was a famous actress. Don't know what it takes off. This camera can't focus, here we go. And I feel like it's my job to inform you of all of the weird cakes from around the world. I feel like that's my responsibility to the world. Oh my God. Mm. It's like a really bad ass chocolate cake, but it's not orange. It's just more chocolate. As it should be. Chocolate with some more chocolate. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Now there's this one. Which I think is mint, but like I said, I can't really read anything. My nose is so red from it being so cold here. Right. Don't know if it's just because they're... Mm. I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna eat it. Like, I can't put it in my mouth. So, it's like a mint cake. Mm. I don't like desiccated coconut that much. Mm. Minty. I'm gonna continue with my Sarah Bernhardt. Did Sarah Bernhardt taste like Jaffa cake? Apparently it's good. Mm. This is good. This is good. We need the sugar. Sugar and caffeine. Well that's it, that is a wrap from Stockholm. It's a shame I didn't get like a bit longer time-wise to spend here because it's really cool, literally cool and also, you know, just cool in a sort of more metaphorical way. Um, it's really cool to kind of like chat to all the guys, dice about the game, just kind of nerd out and just see a little bit of the Swedish way of life that we hear so much about. Why not?